Where are you guys from? I'm from Kendall, New York. Cortland, Colorado. Great. So, uh, first of all, just talk to me a little bit about um, what, what your feelings are today about hearing the news that the school is closing. Um, I mean, we heard it bright and early this morning. Um, 7.30, we all woke each other up, you know, because the email was sent out. And I think we were all just kind of shocked, and now it's just kind of a question of, well, what do we do? Yeah, because last night, I mean, there was a lot of talk going around campus on one of our anonymous apps that we have on campus, Yik Yak. It's, every campus has it, but um, it was pretty anonymous, and everyone was talking about it. So we were all just woke up and we were like, wow, it's actually happening. Like, we can't stop it now. So it's unreal. Yeah, I, my mom called me and said, are you ready to pack your bags? Because she got the email first. Yeah. She was awake. How are you feeling about it? I'm pretty upsetting and disappointed of how it was handled. I mean, they were talking about the whole entire thing happening on Thursday. So it's like, why wait until Monday when it's finals week and everyone's like planning on going home, planning on coming back for next year. Like, what is everyone going to do? Especially um, juniors and sophomores. Like, we have to start over at a new place now. So it's, it's really unfair, especially to faculty. They figured out the same time as us and they didn't have any time to help us or advise us on what to do. So it's really unfair to everyone. Now I know you're all three athletes, so you were telling me a little bit about softball. What's what's the what's going on with softball? I mean, softball as a team today, like we made the decision. Um, we had two games left, and we're not going to finish. We're not going to play. Um, our coach really is supporting us and wants us to focus on finding somewhere else to go. You know, and so she's thinking, and we were all thinking to use that time to just find a find a new college, maybe find a new team if we think it's in the cards for us. Yeah. And you play lacrosse. I do. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, right now we're in our playoffs. We already played our first round against Hilbert and we won, so we're advancing to the final round. And our final, we're hosting here at Wells on Saturday at 11 a.m. For the championship. For the championship. And then hopefully you go on? The hope is to get picked for the NCAA. Now, uh, uh, is it my understanding though, is this kind of a historic thing? Because has the lacrosse team ever done this well? No, um, here at Wells we never hosted a championship game or a playoff game for that matter. Um, and I think it's this our lacrosse team is something that's very special and it's the first thing it's the first of its kind in a while since I've Can been we here at Wells. Talk to you for a second? Yeah. Hey. How are you doing? doing good. You? Are you with the media? I am I'm with the citizen in Auburn. Okay. What's your name? Kevin Rivoli. Kevin, Chris. Chris. Chris Rekka, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I appreciate your time, uh, but we have to ask you to leave because it's a private campus. No problem. Um, I'm in touch with David. We're gonna set up an interview. Um, and any communication, uh, you know, with this is, and we'll try to help out. Okay, we'll do. Thank All you. Right. Thanks for letting sir. me talk to these guys. Thank you. Thank you, ladies.